Hi guys, this your girl Queen See Me. Can you see me? Can you see me now? How about now? Cool, that's what's up. Hi guys, I am back with another part two of my big salad challenge mukbang. That's right guys, you heard me. You heard, okay? So, hope you guys are able to sit and watch. I just want to chat a little bit as well about a few things I want to touch on, okay? A little love, a little inspiration. Hope you guys are feeling good in a good place and that your mind is at peace with all that's happening that's going on, okay? So just breathe and relax, all right? All right, so the reason this is a part two, guys, is because I did not have my chicken nuggets vegan chicken nuggets and they're spicy that's these right here vegan okay spicy chicken nuggets you guys can see that fire pepper right there right there okay so <clears throat> I had to do a continuation yes I did all right and uh, it's fun. I love salads. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And first of all, I gotta thank God for this blessed day and this blessed food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. And I pray for the less fortunate. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you've allowed me to have in bringing me this far. And I pray for my face fam, loyal for being here. That you protect them, keep them, Father God. And I pray, <clears throat> excuse me, I pray that this food does not harm me in any way. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In your heavenly name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Got a little sign of stuff been going on. Okay, so this is the rest of my salad. So I'm going to continue on eating this. And I don't know if that's going to be my thumbnail, but I have my bowl here and it says sweet home. Home sweet home. Okay. <laughs> I just love it. It's cute. I purchased this bowl. I think it was at uh, Dollar Tree. Oh no, Dollar General. So I thought it was cute. So when we, like, when we have our uh, <clears throat> our uh, banana splits and stuff like that. So Anywho, okay, get that. Looks good. I was dying for this when I did the big salad challenge and I was very very hurt that I did not have my chicken nuggets I really was hurt guys I really was I was like this is messed up this is messed up so what do you guys think now mmm That looks really good. I cannot wait to dig in. Okay. I just got me some OJ guys because I have to take my iron tablet. <clears throat> so I need I usually take uh, take it with OJ because it's vitamin D in it and it helps the iron to absorb better. So go ahead and eat now guys. 
Now, the other thing I didn't do, let me get a bite in. Sorry, I'm coughing, guys. A, a little small throat issue. I'm gonna give you guys a bite. You know I like to share. So, here you go. Okay. Y'all took that rather nicely. Okay. Good job. The first time it was hard getting you guys to bite. There's so many of you. But, y'all got that. Okay, so, before I take my next big bite, I wanted to say I didn't, uh, I did put in the uh, comments, I pinned some people, um, I tagged some people to do the big salad challenge, but I'm not sure if those people uh, were watching to read that, so I'm just going to say their names again. Okay, so, <clears throat> Moot Bang, <clears throat> excuse me, Moot Bang. Carbonator. Story time with Miss TY. Sharita's Kitchen. OS ASMR. And Miss Nisi. Okay, so I challenge you all to the Moop Bong Big Salad Challenge. Or just Big Salad Challenge. Okay, so once again. Mukbang Terminator, Story Time with Miss Ty, Sharita's Kitchen, OS ASMR, and Miss Nisi. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Now, I didn't really know who to challenge initially. I really just kind of picked out some people that I see come into the chat a lot. And um, that I've looked at your channels. I still have to look at uh, some of you guys' ch uh, channel a little bit more. Like Sharita's Kitchen, OS ASMR, and Moot Bomb Terminator. I will be checking you guys out, but um, I understand and respect if you don't want to do it, that's fine. 
but I just couldn't think of anybody else at this time. So, hope you don't mind me calling you out. But again, if you don't do it, I totally understand and respect that. Okay, so, I also want to just talk about some other stuff, guys. I want to talk about how our world is a, it's in a privileged place right now. A lot of things are challenging right now. I'm going to be eating and talking about when I'm done chewing, I'll finish. Again, I'm about to talk about my God and the God that I know. He heals me, protects me. He will not stab me in the back, nor will he deny me. As long as I believe and trust in him and follow in his word and do his deed, I'm good to go. I love the Father and His Son who died on the cross for my sins. I hate that the world is trying to make it very hard for other people, people that are out there that's cold-hearted and don't care. But I serve an awesome God. He heals me when I'm broken. He can move mountains. His grace is why I'm living today. <clears throat> Better know it. For all you that believe in God and know God, you guys know where I'm coming from with this. in the mic so sorry this hurt you guys ears my apologies people will hate you rate you even try to break you and shake you. 
but you don't need to let them. How strong you stand is what makes you. The happiest people in the world don't have the best of everything. They just make the best of everything they have. Better know it. Nobody can believe in you the way you can. I love me. I'm a beautiful person to me, inside out. I'm filled with the, with the Holy Ghost. I'm very happy. I go through issues just like anybody else. But I love me, because that's where love starts with yourself. Loving the Father, loving yourself, before you can love anybody else. Y'all like my watch? I don't know how well y'all can see it, but Gabby gave me that for my birthday last year. I just love it. I just had to get it adjusted to fit my arm, but I love it. That's a lot. Mm. Some of you you stick around and I appreciate you. <clears throat> I mean I love everybody. I be wanna do my lives, but look like when you go live you don't see anybody too much. I have mods, I wanna see all my mods. And I wanna see all of you guys. So, I don't know if anybody's going to come to my live when I do go live. And the only way I want to go live is if people want to see me. I pick my mods because the ones I pick, trust and believe, I was sure of. I can feel the vibe, love in my heart for those guys and... I trust you and you're beautiful people. I didn't just pick you just randomly. Either I've been knowing you for a while, I mean since day one. We've, you've come into my lives. You you always hear commenting, you know, uh, looking at our content. And we just have a close bond. Trust and believe I'm careful about who I pick. So, I 
I don't know if you guys will come to my live. You can come in if you would like to see me go live. And if you're going to come. I know some people are working and everybody can't come to your live all the time and all that. I totally understand that. I try to get on like in the evening time, like around 6, maybe maybe 8. Some people have to go to bed, so I try to, you know, figure out a time that's pretty good. Once people get home from work, they be tired, nobody feel like really watching. So I understand. Mm. Well, guys, this was hella delicious once again. Take my little iron tablet. <laughs> Gotta keep building that blood because I got low iron. Again, guys, <clears throat> love yourself. Be happy in you and the Lord. There's nothing greater than God. We gotta feel good about ourselves. Nobody can do that for you. And all these people out here that are doing harmful things and being hateful and mean and don't care about nobody else, just know you better get to know your God so that you can be okay. He will accept you even if you're you know, have done wrong if you turn your life over to him. He's acceptance of that with no problem. God does not punish. He disciplines. But he loves us all. And uh, he will not forsake us nor leave us ever. And I know my God did not bring me this far to leave me now. So, I'm not trying to just preach, but there's so many things, there's so many chaotic things that's going on. I just wanted to say this stuff. I just wanted to get it out. I feel the need to say it, okay? Um, the world is in a turmoil, you know? People are doing things that are ridiculous and insane and just unprecedented things to me, you know? All these problems that's going on, it's all because of mankind. Man is doing this, We're messing up the earth. God made this beautiful earth for us, once beautiful earth, because this surely is not like it was. And it's sad, it just hurts me and irks me. There's so much is going on, but I'm at peace with my father. And um, I get this, these girls to understand that too, and I talk to them, y'all talk to y'all kids, you know, sit down and school them on some Bible, you know, um, 
The way to go is the Bible. It's the best way and the only way. Prayer in the Bible. Okay, so anywho, guys, stay true. Be you, do you. Okay, that was just my little preaching moment. <laughs> okay, so I love you all. And I wish you all the best, peace and prosperity. Happy holidays to you and yours. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Be good. Love on each other. Love your family. Hug everybody tight. No matter the strife that's going on, just, you know, just hug. We got to be, you know, more closer together. And we're going to need each other strongly. Okay? We got to survive. We got to hang on to one another. Okay? So things are going to be how they're going to be. So with that being said, guys, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you guys again, always. Okay. It's a wrap, snap, and a clap. And this is your girl, Queen C. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace, love, and light. I'm out. Thank you so much for watching, Fizz Fam Loyals. And please be sure to turn on that post notification bell.